This conference will now be recorded. Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. So a quick video on Serenity with Cucumber integration. Also, guys, we can do that. It means uh, right now I'm using Serenity to generate the report and they support the integration with Cucumber very, very well. So just to give you a brief idea about uh, Serenity, Serenity is just like Cucumber. It's a uh, it's again, uh, it supports a BDD pattern. You can uh, write your own step definitions and uh, they support almost all the different tools. Either we have a J unit, we have a rest assured also they support and they support with Cucumber as well. So if you see this particular uh, documentation from here and this is a Serenity BDD book and you can come over here, you can see that Serenity integration with J unit. Right now they don't support testNG but uh, serenity integration with uh, cucumber serenity with uh, j behave also very well and then they provide their own wrapper on top of rest assured as well so and along with that they provide one very good serenity screenplay pattern so i'm planning to uh, cover this particular topic also i mean a new series on screenplay pattern with serenity and everything and it, this tool is very much in demand including uh, cucumber and integration with Cucumber because a lot of uh, company they started uh, using it and they have some amazing amazing features and their reporting part is amazingly good you can see some basic report over here I'll show you complete report with our Cucumber framework but if you don't want to use the core features of uh, Serenity that is also fine but I would uh, strongly advise you guys start learning about uh, Serenity also so I'll be starting this particular series very soon and again just like Cucumber we did that um, same thing we will be doing with serenity also okay so if you see their fundamentals the first line they have written serenity bdd is an open source library that aims to make the idea of living documentation a reality that is again amazing thing they provide that you can map your documentation of the requirement with your test execution with your feature file in the live report so it's again a bdd tool helps you to write cleaner and more maintainable uh, maintainable automated acceptance and regression test faster and they provide a lot of inbuilt features a lot of uh, good things a lot of good configuration they provide so you can do that in fact the integration with zira also you can do that so uh, <clears throat> or any other test management tool that you really want to integrate you can do that so today we will just concentrate on the cucumber serenity with cucumber and uh, because we have already created the framework and uh, whatever the reporting part that we have seen earlier that extend report or spark report or a cucumber web report if you really want to generate some really cool uh, report to impress your management or client or customer you can do that so what you just need to do uh, from the project level you just need to add first thing that is serenity properties file that you have to add and one property <clears throat> you have to add that is serenity dot project dot name what is the project name that you want to give so let's say i'm writing uh, serenity and cucumber quick start by something like this by Naveen Automation Labs. Whatever the name of the project, you can write it and the configuration will remain same. After that, you have to go to your format XML file and you have to add a couple of dependencies for the Serenity Cucumber artifacts you have to add. The first thing is that uh, three, four dependencies guys you have to add. One is Selenium, uh, sorry, Serenity Core. Second one is the Serenity J unit. Uh, and the third one is uh, a serenity ensure <clears throat> and the last one is a serenity cucumber six as well you have to add that so it's okay if you don't add uh, first uh, these three dependencies that's perfectly fine uh, you can directly add serenity with cucumber six also but these are the if you really want to use j unit and serenity j unit extra features that time you can add uh, these dependencies as well so just for the safer side let's add all these four dependencies and uh, serenity version that i'm using the latest version that is uh, 2.3.12 all the um, different properties versions i have maintained under my property section over here okay all these uh, three things the next one is that you have to add one plugin also so let's scroll down this is my compiler plugin this is my surefire plugin and inside the surefire plugin i'll tell you that we have to create a separate serenity runner dot java that we will add it over here and we will try to execute from the maven and maven will come over here inside your pom xml file and we'll try to execute your test cases from the surefire plugin and we know that surefire plugin is responsible to execute the test cases 
and then we need uh, one more plugin that is called uh, serenity maven plugin what exactly this maven plugin will do that uh, it will take the help of serenity core and then it will try to generate the report that is called serenity report aggregate report it will try to generate so whatever the feature file that you have created it will combine all the reports together and it will generate one index.html file which is like amazingly good so that plugin also you have to add that i'll push this entire code to my repository so you can pick all the dependencies and the plugins from here now let me close these uh, two files after that you just need to add one runner over here the previous runner that we have already added at my test runner or parallel runner inside the parallel folder so you can add one more runner over here let's see my serenity test runner so you have to run with cucumber with serenity dot class instead of cucumber dot class that is the only change that you have to do that otherwise everything will remain same if you see this our previous runner we were executing with cucumber dot class and the feature plugin and all those things will remain same same thing you have to write let's see plugin is equal to pretty a uh, glue is equal to parallel it means inside this particular uh, uh, this is my step definition folder and you can come over here inside that i have all these uh, step definitions are available and then feature i want to execute let's see a specific feature first so let's say i want to execute login page dot feature so i can give a specific feature file name that is login page dot let's see feature i want to execute first and then we will execute the entire feature files and we will see what kind of report it is generating and this is just my class name and the same class name guys you have to configure in your in your surefire plugin over here see this so you just scroll down this one you have to include this particular uh, runner.java whatever the name could be anything my serenity test runner.java that we have added over here and uh, after that uh, rest of the things will remain same so let me just save it and uh, what we have to do we have to go to the project directory so i'll go to my terminal i'm already in this particular project directory cucumber palm series let me just cross check yes in the workspace this is the project directory what you just need to write you simply write maven clean verify command and then run it and let's see it is running my test cases or not so yes uh, it's trying to run my test cases which are available under a uh, login page dot feature so let it execute there are three test scenarios are available one is actually ignored and two test cases will be executed so let it run okay it's done you can go to my login page dot feature here you can see that okay this is the skip scenario in the previous video we have covered that how to skip a scenario so i really want to see that it's really showing the skip scenario as well in the report or not right so that's this particular scenario will be skipped but these two scenarios got executed perfectly fine okay then uh, you do one thing just come over here and it's giving you a nice uh, report on the console total test executed three passed one and failed one over here which is okay and then it's generating the serenity report over here under your target site folder so what you can do you simple refresh your uh, project go to the target folder and under target folder the site folder is available under that serenity uh, folder will be generated you open this folder and you will see there are number of files are available can you see that and there are number of html csv html files are available so what exactly we have to do we have to aggregate all the reports together and we have to generate one common html file so we are not bothered about all these html files so what exactly we have to do that uh, we it will directly give you one a report path that report got generated over here so you simple copy this entire html file the path over here and open in a new browser so let's say i'll open in a new browser and new tab and paste it over here and here you will see the entire report can you see that so three um, login page feature it's saying something is coming in the red color and tag wise also you can see the report we have one skip test cases which you can just click on a skip one and you can see that okay yeah uh, this is the a test summary you click on test results over here and here you see the report guys you see the result is got pass forgot password got failed because obviously we made it deliberately we made it fail and this one got skipped or ignored you can see that ignored which is absolutely good 
let's see the ignored one first so nothing got executed you can see that ignore 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 this is the outcome and uh, again you come back go to test results let's see the login page title here you can see three steps three got successful over here and overall it got successful and again you go back and check for the the failure one forgot password it's saying that okay yeah some error is there assertion error or something like this it got failed with the proper message over here and which step got failed it is showing that step as well because second uh, step got failed and given user is not login page that first step got passed over here so like this it is generating a good report you go to the home once again this is the title that we have the project name that we have given by Naveen automation labs and then click on home once again and then this is a dashboard kind of stuff it is uh, showing and it's saying that yeah login page feature 33 percent got passed over here and uh, whatever 33 percent tests are unstable and like this this is a kind of dashboard you can see that passing pending ignore and all those things it is showing like this now let's do one thing let's uh, try to execute all the uh all the features so i'll go to my runner and i'll remove this it means whatever it's available inside this particular src test resources parallel folder execute all the features one by one right so let's see how exactly it is working or not so i'll do one thing let me remove this target folder the previous files i don't need that remove that and uh, let's clear the console run this command once again in the same directory maven clean verify and it will take few minutes i think one or two minutes to execute all the test cases because remember that uh, we had uh, excel sheet combination also contact us also we created around three to four contacts so let it run and we will see how exactly it is generating the report with the scenario outline and examples keyword as well and if this report is good guys that i would advise you to go with this report instead of extend report or a spark report this is like a very very easy tomorrow you want to uh, use some extra features of serenity you can do that as well so i think it's a very good option you can think about it but we will create a separate uh, a series on serenity very soon in next couple of days i'm going to start and then you will learn about serenity normal pattern as well as the serenity a screen play pattern also we will learn about that so you can see that it's creating all the contacts one by one I mean, contacts us page is getting filled one by one from the Excel sheet. If you remember from the previous videos, and uh, let it run completely, and we will see that. So, if you are watching this particular video first time, that's perfectly okay. That doesn't matter. Whatever the scenario outline or scenario or uh, without examples keyword or with examples keyword, if you have return it will uh, execute all the test cases and then it should generate the report with serenity so let's see so i think it's done you can just uh, right click on it and then go to refresh target folder got generated and you can see that under site serenity is there and then all these supported files got generated but we are not bothered about all these things so we will simply come over here and it's saying that we have to go to index.html it will generate the report like this so it's saying that uh, out of 11, eight got passed, one got failed and two got ignored. Okay, so let's see that, what is the aggregate report that we are getting it. So let's see this, uh, right now it's 9.30, exactly 9.30 got generated. This is a dashboard result, 73% got passed, 18% and 9% got failed, 18% got uh, ignored over here go to the test results first let's this is the coverage overview feature wise so looks good nice graphs and uh, i really like the graphics and this is the tag based report feature based report also you can see that this is really really good and uh, let's go to the test results over here nice it's complete tabular form you can you can uh, see and let's see go to the account page title account page feature in this page feature we have uh, let's see how many test results are there click on test results then yeah see the tabular form is also coming for the data point of view that we have used which is absolutely good let's uh, go to the home go to test results and let's see the uh, contacts urge is contacts feature we have 
six examples over there. Let's click on the scenario. Nice. See, that was a scenario outline. And these are the examples, uh, a table that we were using it. So you can see it over here. I'll show you that is a context as dot feature exactly same format it is showing over here so you can do a mapping yeah this is a scenario outline this was examples and then these are the steps that we have written see for every step it is showing the result like that because there were around five rows five or six rows were there and it is showing all the results like that if any kind of exception is there it will show you the exception in fact there are other configuration also you can do that to generate the failure screenshot and everything later on we will cover this, those things as well so i think it looks really really good go back to home go back to test results let's see that uh, account page feature there are okay this is fine this is fine uh, login with correct credentials also let's see the yeah see it's giving you all the results with ignored one because this one got ignored and what about the login page feature go to test results login page with correct credentials okay that we have already seen that i think it's looking really good login page title also perfectly fine and uh, you can download the csv report also it's saying download csv and then you can do uh, you can share with others and looks good to me okay so what do you think about this see this is a serenity bdd framework so please try this nothing to do and uh, it looks promising as compared to other reports and they are very active community and very popular in the market right now so i think you should uh, go for that okay so that's all for this particular video guys if you really like this video please subscribe to the channel please click on the subscribe button press the bell icon to get a notification for the next video and if you have any questions or any suggestions feel free to write me in the comment section definitely i'll try to reply over there till then take care and god bless you all